Sadly, I don't have an espresso machine just yet. We're in the very early stages and I didn't expect anyone to go through the uh, go through the application this quickly. So here, you know, we're just a basic little coffee shop. But uh, we're not gonna have a whole lot on the menu. We're gonna have Um, the first one is going to be a shaken espresso, espresso, um, it's going to be unflavored, and then the customer can add as many, as many flavors as they want. Uh, the second will just be a plain latte. You know, I don't want to put a bunch of stuff on the menu that's going to confuse everyone. So we're just going to, we're going to give everyone a clean slate. If they want to, if they want to just add a little bit into their drink, they might as well. So we're just going to add a plain hot latte. And our third drink is going to be a chai tea latte it's one of my favorites it's just like a normal latte but instead of espresso it gets chai and uh, we'll go over how to make that so you know the difference and the last drink is just going to be a nice black cup of coffee we plan on mainly selling that because we've got some very exotic stuff from all over the world got some stuff from Africa, some stuff from Brazil, a Guatemala blend. We even have a blend straight from Alaska. It's got a really creative name. It's called the Grizzly Blend. I know. You'd think they get over themselves and their bears. Well, since we don't have an espresso machine, we're going to use a lot of hypotheticals and a lot of hand movements to just build motor pathways for you today just so you can go into your first day with a pretty good knowledge but we'll have the espresso machines here in a little while they're just on back order I guess they just franchised a, a bunch of those green coffee shops you know but um, I didn't ask what's your name that's a wonderful name um, Everyone will get custom name tags. Um, they will be hand engraved by uh, the jeweler next door. Uh, he's right over there next door. Um, everyone works. It's going to be a gift to all the new hires. Um, but yeah, so do you have any questions before we start? I would offer you a drink, but... Uh, we don't have an espresso bar. So, we're making one of our shaken espressos. We're first going to grab our shaker. We're gonna take the lid off. Go here, fill it up with ice. We're gonna make a medium, so we do two scoops of ice. We're very simple here. Medium is, er, small is one scoop. Medium is two scoops, large is three. All right, we take that, set it on the counter. We're gonna grab our espresso machine. We're gonna grab the little hopper. We're going to grind beans. <laughs> then we're gonna take the no ground beans and pack them in. Put it back in the machine. <laughs> we're gonna pull three shots. shots pulling we're going to take our shaker make sure the lid is off for it all right now our shots are done take our lid and we take the lid off we're going to grab a cup make sure there's no ice in the cup since we already have ice in here Pour it in, and we're gonna top it. Normally everything's gonna get topped with two, 
2% milk, but we have all the other um, dairy, non-dairy beverages. And that's what we have for them because they're not milk. But yeah, if anyone has, we have skim, 2%, whole milk. We also have almond, soy, oat, and we are getting coconut. We don't have anything yet, but we just take our 2% milk. Then make sure you leave a little bit of room on all the cups because we do a no lid policy to just try and help cut back on waste. So just leave a little bit of room on the top of the cup. So when you hand it to the customer, if they grab it, they're not gonna spill anything. Uh, the next drink is going to be a hot latte. And also the way we will mark all the drinks is you will just simply write on the bottom the abbreviations of what they are. So for a shake and espresso, it would be a S E. For a latte, it'd be a L. For a chai latte, it'd be a C. L. For just a black cup of coffee, it would just be a big C. And then once we get our different roasts in, you would label it with the roast. And the way we'll do it is just uh, each batch will have a number. So if it's a a grizzly blend, then you would go C1 because it would be in the first urn. But back to making our drinks. So next, we're gonna make a latte. We're gonna make a hot latte and an iced latte, but first we're gonna go over hot. So first, what we wanna do is we're gonna get some more espresso beans. Gonna grind them, pack them in the machine. We're not going to start pulling our shots yet. And then the shots are going to be a little bit different. The shake and espresso went two, three, four. For the latte, it's going to go one, two, three. Uh, just because the shake and espresso, people are going to want more coffee flavor. But in the latte, lattes are, aren't real coffee. They don't. People don't want to taste all that coffee in there. So we figured out that this is just the best with our cup sizes. Now we're gonna take our 2% milk, gonna pour it in our steam pitcher. And we're gonna put it in steam one in the milk, pull the steamer down, push it up and back. You wanna pull it down to aerate the milk and it gets a nice amount of bubbles in there to create some foam, you know. Then we pull our two shots. And as our shots are pulling and our milk is steaming, sit back, wait. If we have another drink, we would go make it. If there's a customer, we would greet them. We would tell them hello. Welcome to Ready or Not Cafe. As they walk in the door, give them a recommendation if they're looking at the menu. I always recommend a black cup of coffee because it's easy, the easiest to make. All right, our milk's done steaming. We have our hot shots. You always want to pour your milk onto the shots within five to ten seconds so your shots don't expire because right now the shot is blooming right so if you pour the milk on top it's gonna grow i guess the flavor palette will grow but if it dies it's gonna become very bitter and ruin the whole drink and here we want to give our customers the best experience so we're going to take our steam two percent milk and Always leave that little bit of room, just like that. It's done. You would hand it out to a customer. Simple enough. And yeah, if they want whipped cream or anything, you leave a little bit more room. Um, flavors. Uh, to be honest with you, the only flavors we have are gonna be hazelnut, caramel, and vanilla. Um, the rest of them are on back order, and I I can't find them anywhere. So we're only going to have those. Pumps? Well, I always recommend, uh, because we don't have a set amount of pumps for anything, uh, I always recommend however many shots of espresso are in it. You do. Two pumps of the syrup. But uh, we kind of just let the customers, we just ask the customers how many pumps they want. And if they want a recommendation, I normally go with that. Uh, I... Unlike other places, I like my uh, coffees to be a little less sweet, and if the customer wants them to be sweeter, we can do that for them. All right, 
Any questions about the drinks we've gone over? Oh, you've got me with the high slime rate. So that's gonna be very simple. So first, let's grind our meats, just to make the second one. Pack it in the machine like normal. Put it in. Then we're gonna put a cup here. And as our shots are cooling, we don't need to see the milk or anything. So we're gonna fill it up with about 75%. And do you remember how many scoops of ice we're gonna do? We're making a medium. We did two shots, we're making a medium. You're wrong, but I appreciate the effort. It's gonna be two, not one. But good job. All right, shots are ready, and then you just take your 2%. Scoop ice. Now you have a nice latte. And just always let the customers know that we have straws at the end that if they're sitting in the cafe, they can use one of our metal usable ones, which are in the, uh, obviously one from the clean bin. But right next to it is a dirty straw bin, or they can use a plastic one if they so prefer. We don't have paper straws, um, just because, well, people don't very much like them, uh, which I don't mind. All right, next, the chai latte. So it's going to be the exact same, except we're going to take two chai tea bags that we would just open up. Take our cup. All right, now we have our tea bags in there. Um, no espresso is going to go in there. So first we're going to fill it up halfway with hot water to steep the tea. Then we're gonna steam some, we're gonna set this down first. Then we're gonna steam some 2% milk. We're gonna let that sit and grab our tea. The reason it's not all milk is because it needs a hot water to steep the tea. So it's gonna sit for just a little while. We're gonna take our now steamed milk. And that. Just like that is a chai latte. If it's iced, if we were to make one iced, it will be a pain. But what we will do is you would do the first step where you would steep the tea bags. You would let it sit for five minutes. Here, I will just show you. Fill it up with some hot water. Set it there. Wait. Wait five minutes. Since we're training, we'll just speed it up a little bit. But after it sits for five minutes, what we do is we grab a shaker. We pour this in the shaker, take the tea bags out, strain them. Then we put a scoop of ice in, fill up the rest of the way with milk. Put a lid on. It's all shaken, we take our cup, we hand it to the customer. Yeah, I know they're gonna be a pain to make, but that's okay. Um, we're working on a way to do the chai syrup, the chai concentrate, but right now we have the tea bag, so we're gonna have to make them work, but I do plan on making it a little bit easier for us in the future. Oh, just so. Oh, you want to know if we do frappuccinos we do not i don't plan on introducing them but if there's enough demand we might that would just add up another very large list and currently we're struggling with four drinks so i like the idea though all right and lastly we're just gonna go for a black cup of coffee which is very easy. All you do is you grab a cup, walk over to the urn, and you have a black cup of coffee. Um, we will be serving, uh, throughout the day, we will either be serving a medium roast or a light roast. Uh, we can do pour overs. 
of any of our house blends um, on request. And then when we're doing specialty one, specialty ones are only available in small mediums just because they do cost a lot of money to buy the bag. So we're gonna just uh, limit how much people are buying just because it's like a fine, like a fine wine. You don't chug a bottle of fine wine unless you're a recently divorced Kardashian. But you don't chug a bottle of a very nice wine. You sip it. So that's kind of my forte, but mainly it's because the beans are very expensive. Um, so far you killed it. Uh, any questions? Why are we training at... Why are we training for a coffee shop at 2 in the morning? Well, that is currently of my schedule what we can allow. Uh, normal operation hours will not have us here at this time. But, um, yeah. Oh, you're tired. Well, that's okay. You you go home. You did very good in your training today. You get some rest. Uh, we do open at 5 a.m. And you're expected to be here when we open. Um, so you have, you have three hours to go home. Get some food. Watch episode of your favorite show. Get some rest. But um, we'll see you here bright and early at 5 a.m. And uh, you go back to your house and you get some rest there will be a pop quiz when you come back on all of the shots and all of the drinks so maybe in those three hours you get a little study in them but uh, right now you're free to clock out and I hope you have a wonderful night